Construction Work Amendment Bill will be now read a third time. Mr Speaker, we've said it before, this bill provides certainty and clarity to the film industry in New Zealand, an industry that is worth $2.8 billion to our economy. The two Hobbit films alone are worth $670 million. This is not a minor issue. The Government gave serious thought to how it would respond to the threat opposed to the entire New Zealand film industry. Whilst this is a direct response to ensure The Hobbit is filmed here, it is also in response to the fact that we had, had we lost The Hobbit, our reputation as a filming location would have been in tatters. It is clear, Mr Speaker, Labor would have sacrificed the film industry for its union friends. The Hobbit would most certainly have disappeared from our shores if Labor had its way. This government was not going to let that happen. We were not prepared to see thousands of Kiwi jobs disappear, and we were not prepared to see the hard work of the many talented New Zealanders who built our film industry from scratch be destroyed. The facts are clear, Mr Speaker. On August the 17th, a union, an international union, without a mandate, issued an international boycott against The Hobbit as its first action in an effort to negotiate a collective agreement which is illegal under New Zealand law. This action immediately put the production of The Hobbit in New Zealand under threat. How anyone can claim that issuing a global boycott as a starting point for negotiations is acting in good faith is beyond me, particularly when the very agreement they wanted negotiated is not lawful. The unions went too far, Mr Speaker, and put the jobs of thousands of New Zealanders at risk. They have since complained that the producers didn't believe their pledge, that industrial action had been rescinded and would not occur during filming. But, Mr Speaker, it is no surprise that the producers had no faith in this promise. Once credibility is lost, it is difficult to regain. The actions of the unions raised concerns for Warner Brothers that our industrial relations environment was unstable and they could again be held over a barrel. And that, Mr Speaker, was a legitimate concern for us. The Government has recognised that and today we are addressing that concern. The Bill clarifies what is already widespread industry practice, that actors, crew members and other production personnel in the film industry who sign on as independent contractors are just that independent contractors. If they sign on as employees, they are employees. It recognises that in some instances the parties may agree that rather than a contract for services, an employment relationship is more appropriate in their particular circumstances. In these cases, the parties can enter, in, can enter into an employment agreement which provides that the worker is an employee and therefore will be covered by the employment relations legislation. Mr Speaker, the film industry makes a very important contribution to our economy, provides employment and promotes tourism. This bill gives the industry the confidence they need to continue to invest and make films in New Zealand, and I commend this bill to the House. Members, the